Oh boy. But I'm in this business to get paid. So let's make a deal. You go down there, battle the nemesis, and I'll record it all and sell the combat dart. Put on a good show, and maybe I don't need the vaccine. Agreed? Good. That guy is not a nice man. But hey, it comes down to the same thing, really. We gotta battle this out. Hey! Oh, shit. That was almost a really short fight. Whoa. That's a long arm. That's a long arm. Oh, this is the mine round. We gotta conserve the mine round, I think. Oops. Somebody's on fire. Now, this is the explosive round. We're exploding him. You feel exploded today, Nemesis? I got like 20, 30 something of all this just for you. Holy shit. I needed to reload. Damn it. Oh, still out of caution. Mean spot for me. Is that supposed to help me? Watch it, you've got company. Oh shit! Well, he kind of saved me from the zombies, ironically. Here comes some more. Some more of what? Oh, company. I really thought you were talking about something positive here for a second. Well, oh shit! Well, that's good call. It's good to have him here. I can't. I Avoid when I'm reloading, and she is taking a sweet ass time to reload, man. Oh, Nemesis is trying to kill them.
I got no patience for them anymore. I see him. Well, my aiming is a little off. Burn, motherfucker! Consistent damage! I see this is gonna be a pattern. Number three. Now, rip that fuck from part. Oh boy. Can you like drop me some uh, herb? That would be greatly appreciated. Slow mo. Oh, I have some AC rounds for you to put out your shit. Oh, I'm dying. Oh, I have a thing. Shit. How am I supposed to avoid that? Wait. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute, I... I'm stuck! I can't use anything. No, this is the worst time ever! My mouse and the keyboards have gone completely offline. What just happened? Did it just switch to controller? For no reason, but usually that doesn't prohibit me from using mouse and keyboard. That was odd, that something just happened. You're okay. Let me spot for you. Good idea. Actually, it would probably be an even better idea if you get your ass down here and help me take him down. I'm kinda out of uh, flame round. Oh, wait. Let me swap for our mine rounds really quick. Watch it, you've got company. There we go. Oh right, these guys. Oh god. Oh wait, 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 just Hang on, Mr. Menemesis, just give me a chance here. Oh shit. Well, that's just not cool. I'll use the time to dispose of these guys. Hank. To uh, whoa! I think that's what I'm supposed. To Shit! I was too late, and I ran out of ammo. Chill. Hold on. For what? I need to find uh, some things to help me. This is not going well. Damn, that it didn't even slow him down. Okay. He's gonna run out there for a while and there are gonna be some... Number four! Ah, I'm too slow. I'm too slow. This should be doable. I don't think the AC round is doing much to him. Oh boy. 
I gotta find some uh, health items. What the heck? Oh, this cannot happen like this. Stay the hell away from them. Man! No, 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 no. I was at caution. Come on, give me a chance. Okay. We're good. We're still good. Where are the resources? Number six. There we go. Carlos, it is customary for side characters at this point to land a grenade, just a, not a grenade launcher maybe, but something better than that usually. Uh, maybe the RPG that would be greatly appreciated in the next game because usually that's the end of the game. Holy shit I still have flame rounds Number six. Again Okay, I got this. oh you do what do you got? Okay. I'll I guess I'll have to take it too. Okay, he's burning pain, he's standing up. This thing is just not ending. I know! Just, I need more handgun ammo. What do you mean? Oh. Oh, on my right! Okay! He's not going for generators anymore. Let it be over already. At least take care of the zombies for me. Oh, I thought I could roll away. Come on, Nemi! Something. I did it. Jill. Here comes a crane. Use it to climb up. <sighs> kind of want to finish him off. Come on. Come on. Jill, get back. Oh. Now get on. Can we just? Really kill him, confirm the kill, like blow his entire head off or something. Just... I'm gonna melt this fucker into mush. Oh, that's better. I don't know man, that should kill okay. him. I'll meet you up ahead. Nicola? 
Why? Where did you go? Oh, if we could somehow reprogram Nemesis to ask him I to hunt, to back. ask him to hunt down Nikolai, that would be swell. Wow, what a battle! A uh, weapon spec sheet. Quad, uh, what is this? What is the one up of quadruple? I'm drawing a blank here, but anyway, 5x redacted project uh, title Federal Magnetic Infantry Use Next Generation Railgun Development Codename Finger. Okay, Chief Developer uh, Nest 2 Lead Researcher Cornell Garner, Assisting Developer United States Army. Ammo caliber 60 millimeters, muscle velocity 6,000 miles per second. Uh, some kind of railgun? Project objective suppression of new bioweapons in case of outbreak. Additional notes extreme firepower provides the secondary benefit of completely obliterating the target, leaving no trace behind. This would have been handy just a few minutes before. User feedback this thing is totally rad. Tyrants out of line? Just give them the finger and the problem solved. Give them the finger, I like that. Packs the firepower we need. It would be even better if there was a way to control the output. Mobility may prove to be the problematic in the field. Perhaps this platform could be refined. Okay, so it's not a handheld weapon. Mobility is a problem. It requires multiple power sources. May be difficult to secure in practice. Could you consolidate to a single power source? I guess they never got to. I gotta find multiple power sources again. So that's probably gonna be the next phase in our endless fight against the nemesis. It looks like he's dead. He's immersed in a pool of acid. I really don't know how he can escape from that. But I have a feeling he's going to come back. I mean, he's he he'll probably just uh, merge the entire pool of acid into him. And he's going to be a huge monster boy next time we see him. And also we are looking for Nikolai who has been a total dick from start to finish almost got us killed and that is totally not cool and we're also gonna meet up with uh, Carlos who's actually really cool he's such a cool dude I wonder if we're ever going to be playing as him again mother it's done give me the vaccine you greedy son of a bitch no no no, no. you and mother I like that we shall make ours an ongoing arrangement now drop the gun Oh, no fucking way. I predicted this, but I didn't think it would be this soon. Have you, have you ever seen anything so incredible? The data on this would be worth millions. But, uh, you know how it is. City's about to explode, and you can't put a price on life. <laughs> Good luck! Nikolai! Joe! Go after Nikolai! He's got the vaccine! What about you? We're running out of time! I've got this! No, I don't! I know you do. I really, really don't. Just so you know, this is the last fucking time. Seriously, I, put, I just put a lot of my stuff away! How am I supposed to do this? Oh, I guess we're doing this now. Are we the end game? Is the game about to end now? <laughs> I am so fucking confused. Okay. I don't know if I should even still be trying to shoot him. Oh, boy. Oh, here we go. Show me your ugly face. Oh shit, power sources. 
and I just... Oh, we are a little slow on this. It's... it's really, it, I'm too slow. Okay, we need to stun him somehow. We can't possibly do that while he's going on and everything. He keeps surprising me. I always... I did, my, uh, my history and experience of playing video games is coming back to bite me in the ass. I never expected I would say that, but here we go. By conventional video game knowledge and wisdom, we should be in the downtime. Like, we should not be doing this. This is insane. I think we need to fight him traditionally for some time. this stuff is that going to like stun him for a while maybe uh, what what are we doing are we, is this a hug I actually have no idea what he's doing. Okay, this seems to be the really dangerous zone. I probably shouldn't be here. Any luck? I'm completely out of ammo right now, which is freaking ridiculous. No, you're not, Jill. We are kind of uh, out of options right now, except for three shots in the shotgun. Oh boy. Am I missing anything? Yes, I am. I'm missing a lot of ammo right here. Seriously, thank God for this map. Whoa. Someone is really agitated. Handgun works really well against this stuff for some reason. Ah! Gotta monitor that health level. Ah! Come on now! You got this, Jill. You got this. All power sources activated. Power you heard? I don't know how to fuck you up. Let's do this. Still have power. Okay. Oh boy. Come on. Next time, take the fucking hit.
good riddance. Holy shit. Uh, Nemesis down. I got an achievement, so I have to believe this is final. <laughs> if he comes back again, I, I really don't know. Can I just take this with me? So yeah, mobility is a bit of a problem, and uh, power source is also a bit of a problem, but ultimately really strong and awesome weapon. I concur with all the assessment from that report. All this stuff that I didn't even have time to grab. Anything else? Nope, that appears to be it. And look, we uh, created a bit of a pathway for us, but I don't think we're going there. So long, boyfriend. It's been a pleasure. It really has been a pleasure. This looks just like this one. No, we can't. Probably not. He's probably holding Carlos at the gunpoint at this at this point. So instead of going down, we're going up. ordered me to reduce umbrella to rub. Ten minutes until missile ah. impact. The missile has launched. And there is my key. Goodbye. You see how long time. Shame you didn't listen to me when you had the chance. <laughs> Get in, Carlos. Can I just shoot him in the leg? Doesn't matter where I shot. Why'd you do it? There's a price tag for everything. Even letting the world burn. Who are you working for? I'll tell you. If you get me out of here, I'll pay you whatever you want. You're a fool. You're a fool! If I die, you'll never find out the truth. I don't mind a little detective work. Right? 
so long, Marcy. I felt empty and cold as the heat from the blast washed over us. All this death wasn't caused by a monster-making virus. It was greed. Human greed. I decided then and there, the ashes of Raccoon City would be Umbrella's ashes too. I would end them, once and for all. And that's a wrap for Resident Evil 3. Whew! Um, this is gonna be a little hard to... I actually didn't prepare to have any endgame thoughts yet. Probably because I didn't really expect the endgame already. Yes, it is a little bit on the short side, just I, just as uh, everybody said, which I expected. It feels like they could have uh, stuffed in at least uh, two more locations, and then it would be kind of like a regularly expected Resident Evil scale. So it's a little... Sh but I do think the short side is not because the level is small or anything, it's just because... The game operates on a much faster pace than Resident Evil 2. And there's pro and con to that. So, yeah, end game. What do I think about the game? I freaking loved it. I I think what we got. Now, we're going to uh, have a... We, we can have a big debate about the pro and con of this more focused, high-paced thing, which makes the entire game time a little bit... Uh, lacking compared with what came before compared with what many may be expecting for the uh, price tag even though this game does co uh, come with the multiplayer section but for a single player it's not very long that's acknowledged but i think what we got long or short it was pretty fucking fantastic a lot of that is uh, still bu built on this uh, RE engine, I mean, this RE engine pretty much revolutionized uh, Resident Evil as a franchise. It was first used in Resident 7 and then Resident 2, now 3. This seems to be the perfect Resident Evil engine. It's so great uh, at presenting both hor both the horrifying elements and the actions. Uh, also, I believe it. It's also a, a great engine for the kind of level they're designing. And we're starting to get a bit of a pattern for that, but it's a, such a good pattern. I mean, I'm not complaining. At some point, it it could feel like a cliche. I guess a lot, when Resident Evil first came out, there were some... There were also some criticisms, like uh, that each game is just... It's kind of like the last one, but with some minor differences. But I feel like if, if, if there's anybody thinking uh, thinking that right now, I really feel like this is because this foundation is so strong. Therefore, there's not that much of a need to shift most of everything. Besides, Resi 3 came out just one year after Resi 2, so you know they were being developed side by side. And I, th I also think that was pretty faithful to the original relationship between the original RE 2 and 3. Like, 3 was a... Um, a little bit more advanced uh, expanded ver uh, edition of the game that was Resi 2 because at the time you know there were Resident Evil 3 was was being developed at first as a side story it was more like it was more like more more or less in line with Re Re RE2 to begin with and the Resident Evil Code Veronica which was a vastly different game than than the re than what came before was supposed to be the RE3 that was supposed to be the revolutionary one but because um, Capcom or somebody I, I I need to don't take my word for it you gotta look this up for yourself if you want to have you want some accurate uh, information but I believe it was uh, somebody at uh, PlayStation who wanted the each numbered Resident Evil mainline series to be to, uh, to 
to be released on PlayStation, not exclusively, just on PlayStation. And Code Veronica at the time was being billed as a, an exclusive for... Was it GameCube? I forgot if it was GameCube or Dreamcast, it was one of those. Anyway, it wasn't supposed to come out on, on uh, the PlayStation and they didn't like that, so they rebranded it what became uh, Resident Evil 3. So it, it, you can find all the number of sequences on the PlayStation system. But we're getting a little bit... We're getting a little bit sidetracked. Overall, I think this game is really solid. Uh, everything we ha you can do here is very top-notch. I did have a few points of... Uh, and the music is getting really loud. I really want to have the cast roll out, but you know what? I have to skip this so I can. I have to talk. I don't want to have to talk over the music. So, oh wait, we're actually having something. She's still keeping the empty vial. That was it. <laughs> Come on. Oh, it took me about eight hours. I got a C rank. Whatever. The C rank's prop. I died 13 times. It felt more than that, actually. Uh, I died a bunch of times with the last Nemesis fight, particularly when I was just not understanding that I should shoot the uh, generators at the buttons. I found it was kind of weird. So I'm gonna take this moment of peace to to lay out some of my let's just say holdbacks as to for for this game uh, overall i don't prefer this over resident evil 2 remake um i think that's in line with the general consensus but that doesn't matter i this is just my personal feeling and it's not because it's short i, I one thing i really liked was uh the alternating between jill and carlos i think they're because their weapon set are different their play styles are indeed a little bit different and you got some uh Differences in Jill uh, being able to dodge enemy attacks, but uh, executing the same command on Carlos, it's a shoulder bump, it's a shove with with the elbow, and so it's more of a more of an attack. So there, there's that. You can totally have different playstyles between the two characters, and and let's talk. Uh, Let's talk about characters, because I think characters characterization is one big standout point for this game. Uh, and I've talked about this during the playthrough. I think Jill and Carlos have they have been uh, presented as a very fully embodied, uh, empathizable, and just very likable characters, which has not been the strongest suit of Resident Evil. And I mean, as much as I like Resi Two, I always thought uh, Leon and Claire could have used a little bit more character time and for the most part they are pretty caricature there's not too much personality except a very standard protagonist ish good guy strong-willed person um, th there's nothing wrong with that you don't really miss all that much when you're playing Resi 2 uh, you got a little bit of that with uh, Ethan in Resident Evil 7 too uh, for the most part he doesn't talk all that much and what he does is it's also very it's also kind of a standard with without a distinct personality kind of thing, but you, it's not a huge problem. Resi Three probably because that game is first person anyway, so first person protagonists you kind of expect them to be like that. Jill has just uh, the Jill's character kind of just blew me away from how much uh, improved she was from uh, the previous time we saw her, which was in Resident Evil 1 Remake, Remaster, whatever the name it was. Uh, but that was more... Uh, but it was, that was more due to, you know, Jill, Car Jill, Barry, Chris, they were all just caricatures in the original Resident Evil, and the remake, remake refined the dialogue and the voice acting and all that, but it didn't change that aspect very much. And I, I'm really excited that Jill has suddenly become this very character that you can you can totally you can like that you can feel for. Uh, with the beginning scene scene where she's uh, in her 
stuck in her room, quarantining herself,、uh, not wanting to leave the city that she desperately wants to leave because she's afraid that she's a carrier of the T virus that she might infect other people, that she might bring the misery of the Raccoon City incident outside. And before she knows it,、uh, it's not her decision anymore. And Nemesis is called on the door, and Nemesis is such a huge surprise mechanic in this game. I I think Nemesis is done very well here, but it's not done as well as it could have been. Now let me explain that.、Uh, and then now let me draw the inevitable comparison between the big bad in the Resi Two to to Nemesis here. Then that's Mr. X. With these two, I definitely am still more afraid of Mr. X. And even though Nemesis is the iconic Resident Evil villain, and even though Nemesis probably could wipe the floor with Mr. X any time of the week, the huge, the main difference, and this is a big difference between the two as presented in these two separate games, but separate but similar games, is that Mr. X is more of a game mechanic, and、uh, Nemesis is more of a character. And you are, I'm just more, much more、uh, frightened of the game mechanic. I'm not. He, now, if Mr. X was just in the cutscenes and in the boss fights, like Nemesis was used here, I probably would have preferred Nemesis just because he's more distinct. He has more of a personality, and he has he is definitely more persistent. He comes in.、Uh, he comes to jail at the at what I think should be. Her most mo vulnerable moments, like something like just after a boss fight, so you don't expect him to show up again. And if we're、uh, if we're excluding Carlos's sequence, it feels like this entire game is just a jail, constantly being pursued by Nemesis, which I, which is is definitely the goal here. That's definitely the kind of story they're trying to portray.、Um, but here's the thing. Everything that happens with Nemesis are the kind of scripted,、uh, like the opening sequence, like some of the other sequences where you're escaping from him. You just、uh, run to toward the direction that the game is obviously pointing you at. You do certain things at the, the at the right time that as the game most usually、uh, obviously point, tells you to do. And sometimes you improvise a little bit, but most of the part you just following the the script that the game is subtly presenting to you, and it's fun. There's nothing wrong with that. But、uh, most of the encounters with Nemesis is either that or a boss fight. Now boss fights are hard, right? That's they're supposed to be. I died plenty of times at the hands of Nemesis. I'm not gonna lie. I died 13 times here. It's running right here. No, now. So I gotta justify myself a little bit here. Sometimes, uh, uh, when 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 it's off screen, I sometimes get、uh, myself bitten by zombies intentionally, so I can practice the dodge move and so I can pra practice the parry move, because at first I was kind of having some difficulties with that a lot. So I I don't know if those deaths were counted here, to be honest, because I don't think they were in the save system. I, I was saved after that, but they could be. Maybe some of them were. So I probably didn't die all thirteen times just due to a lack of skill or something. But you know what? I'm not too good at this. Um, boss fights are hard, but they are doable as long as you follow the pattern. As long as you do the right thing. Uh, like the. The, the second to last boss fight, the reason I did so bad was because I didn't realize I was supposed to hit the buttons on the generators. But if I did, it's not that hard. You just circle him, you dodge at the right moment, you shoot the you do you do this sequence of shooting zombies and、uh, shooting generators and then shooting nemesis with the correct with the most appropriate weapon with the ammo that you should have at that point. And the extra ammo and the health materials that the game provides you in the arena, you should be able to pull through. Now that doesn't really mean it's not a hard, it's not a hard fight, and it's not mean it's not a hard war victory. It certainly does not mean it's not fun because it was, it was fun, it was really fun. 
but I wasn't afraid. Um, I was more concerned with how long, how much ammo I got, like all of that stuff, all of that stuff that you usually find, not just in you usually find uh, yourself worried for, but not just in Resident Evil games, but you know, in any kind of boss fights in RPGs where you're battling a dragon or a Mass Effect when you're I don't know I don't actually know nothing about Mass Effect. Uh, or just any type of boss wise. It could be a Final Fantasy boss for all I care. Just a huge life bar out there. And there's nothing. You fight him at some point. At, at, down at a certain level. And certainly, suddenly some plot happens. And he regenerates to everything. You've, you wor I get the kind of worry you get for standard boss fight. But I wasn't really afraid of such boss fights. Uh... The kind of fear that you experience when you're playing a survival horror game, just because you might get a little bit of just 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 because you don't really you can't really predict uh, pre you can't really predict what's around the corner you can't really predict what's in the darkness that's you can't really predict what's behind you that's that that kind of thing was excelled in Resident Evil Two. Uh, it was more of a closed environment, so you, you can see clearly what's in front of you, and that's still not gonna be a lot. And Mr. X is that kind of element, because he's unpredictable, he has a mind of his own. He probably secretly teleports everywhere in the police station, so you, you never really... You can try to guess where he is, you can predict him, you can certainly find a way to dodge him. And there's not that much to worry about when you, even when he finds you. To be honest, he he's pretty slow. You can, if as long as you are familiar with where you're going, as long as you uh, you didn't leave every single zombie still roaming the corridors, you should be fine. But th the fact that he that he isn't, th the fact that you don't know exactly where he is and exactly what he's doing for the most of the time, that terrifies me. Um, Nemesis is just a. Uh, I know he's here. There are a few moments where he's like shooting Rockies uh, after Jill, and those moments are the only time that Nemesis really was a game mechanic. He was part of the game that otherwise was operating as normal, and he was chasing Jill all around the. I believe that was just the block of Raccoon City. And apart from that, everything else was a little scripted. That's why I'm thinking he's more of a character. And I. I feel a little. Bad for Nemesis just because he wasn't, he wasn't the classic Nemesis for long before he started mutating and things. And I really, I I I like the new Nemesis. I think he's a very, he I think he uh, he's a relatively strong character. He's a good, he's a good well Nemesis. He's a good villain for the story, and he uh, it's certainly satisfying to finally put him down at the end. But I don't think if the original Resident Evil 3 was presented like this, I doubt Nemesis would still reach the iconic status that he he's at today. And that's just my two thoughts about that. Uh, another thing, just to deep, basically I have two minor gripes of the game, otherwise this game is pretty fantastic. But the other thing I find a little, a little disappointing is how the enemy's AI seem to have regressed. Since Resi 2, it's it's beginning to uh, seem obvious that they have these uh, zombie character models. They have some type of uh, place to start off when they're off screen, and I don't, I don't usually notice stuff like that. It's like uh, in Resident Evil 2, zombies actually know where you are. You can shut. The, you can go through to another room and uh, shut the door behind you. The door automatically closes, obviously, and then you can look back and the zombies do. The, the, the zombies just bang on the door. After two or three bangs, it's gonna come through and it's gonna come straight at you. I feel like zombies are a little, a little dumbed down. I mean, I'm not playing at the hardest difficulty, but I've been playing at the consistent difficulties at the normal, both two and three. So I'm. They weren't consistent though. The zombies were decidedly dumber here, like the, uh, especially on the streets. Like most of the time, they weren't moving towards me at all. 
and I still died 30 times. I still got a rank of C, so I shouldn't probably complain about this. I only would have done worse. Um, and you, you can, you can imagine, you can. There, there's a good reason for this. Actually, they are on open street, so there's probably more things happening to distract them than just a police station where Leon or Claire were the only. Uh, well, moving object anywhere, so the zombies are naturally drawn to them. Uh, but when you open the door, and this is especially frustrating with Hunter, the Hunter betas, I'm kind of a little disappointed with Hunter's in the performance in this game. Hunters were known as door bargers in the Resident Evil franchise. I mean, that's how they started. Every time you see a Hunter, you introduce Hunter to a new game, like in Resident 1, and also they reuse that mechanic here, which was I think was really clever just to give you a sense of exactly what is coming before they even show it is the animation of uh, seeing something in first person perspective barging ramming through door after door after door uh coming coming honing on the protagonist location wherever that is and that is the greatest the trait of a hunter is that they are not confined by their position that they can Go through the entire game to hunt you down. That's why they're hunters. And that was what made them so great in Resident Evil 1. Even though if you go back to see my playthrough of Resident Evil 1, you probably don't get that. Because I tend to just rocket launcher them on the spot. I try not to extend the fight. If I see a hunter, I just kill it right there. No matter how much time... Well, they don't usually take time. No matter how much ammo I use. I... Always feel like it's worth it because I'm just I didn't I don't think I lure them anywhere else than where I met them. That's a little bit unfortunate. Maybe it would have been better if I had been able to showcase that mechanic. But I know for a fact that hunters can hunt you down everywhere in that Spencer Mansion, and they can do that here. They this should be able to. This, this is the technology is definitely there. So, so I I I kind of wonder why it's not the case. Um, every time I see a hunter, it's like, open the door a little bit, and you see them at that spot. You shoot him a little bit, he comes at you, I back away from the door, preparing for him to barge open the door, and uh, so I can shoot him some more, but it doesn't happen, it's all quiet. Uh, so I approach the door again, I open the door again, and I see the hunter returning to its original position. This also happened... Basically, it's rinse and repeat until he's killed, but this also happened with the zombies a little bit. It's like there's a clear position of origination for all of these characters, and they just can't wait to go back there. As long as Jill or Carlos are out of the line of sight, they go back to, to, their, to their original position. I'm secretly imagining that they are resuming a T-post. And that's a little bit disappointing, but... Overall, I would say Resident Evil 3 was just a great fun. It's not as it's not nearly as scary as Resident 2. I don't think it's meant to be. I think Resident Evil 3 is where Resident Evil has always struggled a little bit with horror and uh, and action. Uh, I think they're remaking Resident 4 now, uh, and they're also developing Resident 8 at the same time. If that is the case, I think Resident 4 will decidedly be more action oriented, while Resident 8 is probably going to at least to try to be a bit more horror oriented that's just my guess i have no inside information on any of this because you can't really do resi 4 without a lot of action let's be honest with that and resi 3 feels more if, I don't, if you're a hardcore survival horror game you like a tough experience like <laughs> you want to make it tough for yourself. I can understand if you, you're you disappointed with Resident Evil 3. but Because it's not as survival horror as the previous games. But you know what? For me, this it doesn't make the game overall bad. Just different. Because it hap action adventure happens to be my favorite video game genre of all of them. And I like RPGs, I obviously like horror, and I obviously like survival horror, but action-adventure like Assassin's Creed or Uncharted, that's just my jam. And Resi 3 
while a, diff, uh, a little bit different in the tone and the pace with the previous ones, is veering towards my favorite dish on the table. So I can't complain. I can't, in my good conscience, tell you I did not enjoy it. I, I enjoyed it a whole lot, actually. So what next? That leaves the biggest question. What's coming next? I part of me want to care. I want to continue this tr this train of Resident Evil heat and just go on to play four, five, six, seven. Uh, I think I'm going to eventually do all of them in this ch on this channel, but maybe not right away. Right now, I I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do next, but I'll come up with something. Um, maybe maybe a little something shorter or short and sweet. I mean, even shorter than this. Uh, well, it's gonna be whatever I I upload next. So look forward to that. Look forward to the complete uncertainty and uncommitted promise. So I'm gonna end it right here and uh, see if there's anything after this screen. Um, I guess not. We're back at the main title. Uh, it doesn't look that much different. Uh, Nemesis actually looks really great like this. I wish he had... He looked like this a little bit more throughout the game. He, he was pretty much... He's, he pretty much started mutating really fast. Anyway. Awesome game. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next playthrough, whatever that is. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye.